Hey everybody, welcome back to Pure Guitar Gear. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe because I don't want to go to work anymore. I just want to do this and not go to work. So hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a nasty one. I don't care. What are we talking about today? We're talking about guitar amp speakers. Just hit the button. Hot topic. Which ones are good? Which ones suck? This is what we're doing today. I got this for dirt cheap a couple weeks ago. Check it out. Boom. Ugh. Celestian Blue or Vox branded blue. I got this for like 80 bucks. I was just surfing Craigslist looking for stuff to spend money on. And I found this. And I've always been super, super curious. Everyone always says, oh, the Celestian Blues, they sound great. Or, oh, the bell speakers. Or, oh, it does this. It's so chimey. It's so vintagey. Whatever. What I want to do is I want to do a A-B comparison between the speaker and the amp that I use all the time. My Greer Cam 18, which has a green back in it. I know that amp. I use it every week. I gig with that amp all the time. I know exactly how it sounds. It doesn't sound bad. I'm just shits and giggles here. I'm just going to see what this sounds like. So I'm going to try to do the closest comparison I can. Same mic. We're going to use a 57. Put it about an inch or two. I'll measure it so it's as close as we can get. Same spot on the cone and see what the difference is. Now, I will throw an air of caution to the wind for you gear tweakers out there. Don't tweak yourself out of a good tone. If you're happy with your amp tone, don't start messing with shit. But if you are going to start messing with stuff, start with the speaker because it's just a couple screws and a connection and that's it. Try the speaker before you try tubes or pickups on your guitar. You could just have a real shitty speaker. For instance, the new or newer Fender 65 Deluxe reissues, right? Awesome amp. The stock speaker in that amp is garbage terrible you will be so mad that you spend twelve hundred dollars on a tube amp and the speaker is dog shit so start with the speaker tubes whatever i've read articles and watched interviews of people talking about uh dumble for dumble amps putting modern tubes in his amps when he was alive r.i.p dumble you know you got dudes out there nos tubes and i did it i bought nos tubes and i wanted to hear a difference i really did and i told myself i heard a difference but I don't know if I really did hear a difference. Let's see what we get. Let's just start unscrewing some stuff and putting some stuff in and making some noise and see what we got. I'm going to try to do it as straight up as possible. No EQ, no reverb, none of that. Just a 57 on an amp. Play some bar chords, play some jangly stuff, and um, see. You might say, why are you doing this if you're so happy with your tone out of your amp? Because you should always be curious. You know, I'm very curious to see, not necessarily how it's going to sound in the room, but is it going to sound different in the mix, the live mix? Is it going to sound different when I'm recording at home? Will it cut through just a little bit? Will it sound more vintage-y? I don't know. We're just going to have to find out and see what happens. So here we go. Hope you like it. <laughs>
interesting takeaways I have. So here's what I thought. I liked both of them. I think they both sound good. That being said, though, when I was editing the video, I did prefer the way the green back sounded coming out of my speakers, right? But in the room, I preferred the blue. I thought the blue sounded better in the room, and I just enjoyed playing it more for whatever reason. I don't know. Maybe it sounded more natural. Didn't have as much compression, maybe. But interestingly enough, I preferred the blue in the room. So let me know what you guys think down below. Did you like the green? Did you like the blue? Make sure to like and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one. Peace.